friends in today's video lectures we will see directional bonding in short it is called as covalent bond in yesterday video lectures we saw some postulates of valence bond theory to understand the formation of covalent bond with the help of valence bond theory so before that let me introduce first again uh, this theory was put forward by the two important fellow one is called as hitler and other is a london in 1927 to understand the formation of molecule with the help of atom but later on this theory was modified by pauling and slater in 1931 the electron transfer process leads to the formation of ionic bond here as we know that in definition of ionic bond it is a transfer of electron takes place from one atom to another atom but this thing is not happen always because sometime what happen if two atoms having same let's say electron electronegativity at that time it is not possible to transfer the atoms transfer the electrons but here at that time what happened during the formation of molecule they share their electrons so as to form the stable molecule so the sharing of electrons result into the formation of covalent bond student here definition of covalent bond comes what is covalent bond the bond which is formed due to sharing of electrons of the respective atoms in order to form the molecules and that concept is very very popularized later on according to lewis concept a covalent bond is formed when two atoms of same or different elements by attending stability they required a sharing of electron pair and this sharing of electron pair actually each atom contribute their one electron so as to form a two atom contribute two electron one each and form a covalent bond but in modern approach if you observed then you can understand that the sharing of electrons not only directly take place but there is actually what happen orbital contribution also play an important role so in modern approach orbital representations required for chemical bonding a covalent bond is formed by overlapping of atomic orbitals and that theory is called as orbital overlap theory so later on valence bond theory is called as a orbital overlap theory once slater and pauling do the modification by considering orbital contribution to understand the orbital contributions first quantum of wave mechanical approach comes together where wave nature of electron is considered to explain the nature of bond in hydrogen molecules the atoms with half filled orbital should approach sufficiently close to each other along the axis of their orbital to get the proper overlap therefore covalent bond formed only when the two approaching orbital must present on same axis with same alignment that means formation of covalent bond is a directional bonding or directional character so the directional bonding is simply called as a covalent bond and therefore some postulates comes into the picture according to vbt first postulate is valence bond approach starts with individual atoms a and b to explain the formation of molecule that means formation of 
bond required at least two atoms maybe say more different so here the covalent bond formation between two atoms takes place by overlapping of atomic orbitals of two combining atom this is happen only when those atomic orbital in the valence cell of each atom have the unpaired electron so this is a very very important sentence that only those atomic orbitals of valence cells taking part in the overlapping only when that orbital having unpaired electrons right now if the atomic orbital in valence cells of combining atoms have paired electrons that means this orbital or this pair of electrons will not contribute in the bond formation that's why that bond that orbital is called as a non bonding orbital or the electrons which involved in that is called as a non bonding electrons or lone pair of electrons another important possibility is only those atomic orbitals that have same symmetry or alignment that can only take part in the overlapping not any orbital will overlap with any other so those orbitals which having same alignment same geometry or same orientations only such overlapping or such combination can be possible so if you do the combination then we have let's say three types of overlapping ss overlap ps overlap and pp overlap if you saw there the relative strength of this covalent bond is depends on what kind of op orbital overlaps with each other so s orbital of one atom when overlap with s orbital of another atom that overlapping is actually weak overlapping because of electronegativity difference and because of a repulsion in same group or same atom so ss orbital overlapping is weaker than ps than pp when atomic orbitals overlaps the electron density increases in the region between nuclei of the combining atom another feature is that covalent bond having a directional character during the formation of covalent bond some energy is released and that energy can be used if required for the unpaired electrons pair so that number of aos are or atomic orbitals are with unpaired electrons are available for bonding so once these atomic orbitals combines or once these atomic orbital overlaps so combining atoms retain their identity while overlapping of these atomic orbital they result into formation of two types of covalent bond one is called as sigma bond another is a pi bond everybody understood you might understand resonance plan important factor here in valence bond theory that is also very very important so let me see the application of this postulate on the formation of h2 molecules with potential energy curve so here the energy changes taking place during the formation of h2 molecules can be explained with the help of potential energy curve everybody understood to understand the formation of h2 molecules with the help of valence bond theory that can be understood with the help of potential energy curve when two hydrogen atoms are far apart the potential energy of each atom is independent on to one other atom and arbitrarily set as zero for example let's say there are two persons if they are far apart from each other then there is a zero chances to become a friends what is the requirement of friends or what are the main requirement to become a two persons as a friend that means these two persons must come to close to each other they must approach to each other and then and then only there is formation of friend friendship same is here when the two hydrogen atoms when the two hydrogen atoms are apart from each other at that time it is very difficult 
to form a covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms at that time their potential energy is considered as zero or it is arbitrarily set as zero everybody understood now as two hydrogen atoms come close to each other means they approach to each other there will be what happen there will be the attraction between them takes place how attraction will be there because electron of one atom combines with nuclei of other atom so there is positive negative attractions at the same time there is also electron electron repulsion so there are actually two types of forces come into picture one is called as attractive force another is a repulsive force so these two forces come close or come in together to form the to bring the two atoms of hydrogens together okay so as the two hydrogen atoms approach there is an attraction between them and as a result what happen energy decreases so in diagram you can see initially uh, if you consider two hydrogen atoms they are far apart from each other so you can see in here in diagram that here two hydrogen atoms at let's say this this line is considered as what it's a um, uh, line which is having in zero energy okay so atom which lie on that line they bear a zero energy that means they are far apart from each other so there is no any kind of attractions so what happen their energy is considered as zero arbitrarily taken as zero or it is set to zero but once there is attraction comes into picture the energy goes on decreasing like this way so at a point there is a uh, the distance between two atoms decreases as a result energy decreases so there is a attraction increases again when you go ahead at point r e where what happen actually that energy is uh it's a minimum energy right where these two atomic orbitals touches to each other you can see here in diagram also so this is the minimum where the two atomic orbital overlap and again what happen there is a sudden uh, if if you want to overlap two atomic orbital further that means like this way what happen energy again shoot up okay so with the help of this diagram you can consider that due to the lowering of energy the molecule becomes stable okay so lowering of energy is because of each electron now comes into the influence of second nucleus so there is a nucleus and electron attractions as a result uh the distance between two atoms decreases that means internuclear distance between two atoms decreases and now it becomes a the attraction more than compensate the electron electron and nucleus nucleus repulsions so this diagram clearly mention or clearly indicates that only at certain distance these two atomic orbital approach to each other so the distance between them they are called as a internuclear distance it is also com commonly called as a bond length right so bond length becomes equal of the sum of radius of two atoms so this is let's say the radius of one atom and this will be the radius of other atoms okay so the half of radius of one atom to that of half of sorry the radius of one atoms combines and the radius of other atoms if you combine two radius of two atoms together there is become a bond length bond length between two hydrogen atoms okay so this thing is always important to understand for the formation of covalent bond now to understand the formation of h2 molecule uh, a second hypothesis or uh, we can say uh, 
modern approach comes into the picture with the help to understand the mechanical uh, mechanical treatment for hydrogen molecule on the basis of valence bond theory so after pauling and slater who developed the, that or who told us that the formation of molecule will not only depends upon the uh, valence of electrons but it is also uh, orbital contributions or orbital overlapping to understand that suppose there are two isolated hydrogen atoms which may be described by the wave functions psi a and psi b are the wave functions of two atoms a and b the atom a and b represent what actually the two hydrogen atoms okay now here both hydrogen atoms are same and that's why i have taken a and b as the sign for first hydrogen it is denoted as ha and for second hydrogen it is represented as hb if atoms are quite apart they do not interact with each other and the system can be represented by psi is equal to psi a of first atom plus psi b of second atom now this equation is called as equation number 1 to represent the wave mechanical function or wave function of the two combining hydrogen atoms now when atoms are brought together to form a molecule they will affect each other and their individual wave function will change obviously when they come close to each other and form a molecule what happen now their individual wave function will get change because now it become a molecule however when the mol when they come close and interact the wave function for the system will change but still we may accept the equation assuming the wave function it is possible to calculate the energy of system as the two atoms are gradually brought closer as shown in figure again you will see the figure so in this figure it is simply if you plot a diagram that is energy versus internuclear distance with the help of wave function which is given in equation number 1 it is possible to calculate the energy of systems as the two atoms are gradually brought closer so at zero energy the two hydrogen atoms or the wave function of two hydrogen atoms are clearly mentioned that they are away from each other so there is no any kind of interactions but at what happen if there is a attraction takes place between two atom the attraction takes place between electron of an atom and nucleus of other atom and vice versa so due to attraction what happen potential energy decreases right so we got different curves for example b c d e these are the different curves which are obtained when there is a uh, decreasing energy between two uh, atoms when they overlap when there is a attraction while the curve f represent there is a increase in energy and which may be happen because of repulsion why there is a repulsion because if two atoms having unpaired electron like single electrons so their pin spin is parallel their spin is upward in direction and because of that because of a uh, parallel spin this does not result into the bond formation and that's why the energy of such a combination will get increase as shown in curve f otherwise curve b c d and e that is common for because once they approach to each other energy will be goes on down so here curve a has a maximum sorry minimum energy which is of 0.24 into power 10 raised to 2 kJ per mole where an internuclear distance between two atom v is 9 into 10 raised to power minus 2 nanometer that means 0.09 nanometer and this can be confirmed with the help of experiment that is 4.58 into 10 raised to power 2 kJ and the bond length is actually 7.4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 nanometer 
for hydrogen so it is clear that actual bond energy is much higher while the actual bond length is much slightly shorter than the calculated value so the experimental values differ from the values obtained by solving equation and therefore that values are different the differences are because of hydrogen molecule has not been described correctly in equation or there are many reasons like number of limitations have been placed in equations or the wave function value of psi in the equation 1 is to be improved as is to make agree in the experimental value a number of improvements were suggested in equation 1 so that it could correctly and completely describe the hydrogen molecule so this is how actually wave mechanical treatment is used for the formation of hydrogen molecule with the help of valence bond theory so we'll stop here of today's video lectures so so far we saw uh, some postulates of valence bond theory and then formation of hydrogen molecule by uh, simple potential energy curve and the wave mechanical treatment okay